All right, y'all, watch, talk, and act. We are back with another video from Mr. Kevin Samuel. So let's just get right into this video and play it. Uh, how old are you? I am 40 years old. All right, so we're talking about this whole thing about uh, emotional labor and yeah. women being too tired for relationships. What do you think? I think that they need to work out and do some squats. <laughs> I think that okay. they need to get it like like get their their workout on no matter their age or their their size or their situation. That's how okay. I really feel. Well now, I want you to understand that a lot of the women I'm talking about work out. It's not a matter of them being physically tired. Mentally First, tired? Yes. Okay. Emotional labor. Men's complaints today are women don't act like women. I'd agree. They don't, that's the emotion, the femininity. Maybe men have an imprecise way of saying it. Do you realize that, look at, look at women today. Do most women walk around looking like they're light? No, they look like, they look like they're heavy. Like they have a lot on their mind. They look like they're, they So what does it have to do with working smile. out? They what don't does it smile. Have to do working? So what does it have? So what is going to the gym if they already go to the gym? See, what do you well, do for I, a living? I well, I am a, I'm a doula, and I moonlight okay. as a dominatrix, and okay. I happen to have. You say what? A dominatrix. <sighs> Here we go with the nonsense. Let's see what this is about. I've never watched this, y'all, so just letting y'all know ahead of time. Everything you see is on the fly, straight up. A situation where I also take care of people in different circumstances. Like, as a doula, it's not just that I'm in the birth room. I could be taking care of people because they're dealing with cancer or all kinds of things. Or if But you don't have a job to go to that you got to report to eight to five every day. No. No, I work for okay. myself. Yeah. When was the last time you had to do that, if ever? Uh, a long time ago. Yeah, and and when I'm not doing that, I'm a broadcaster and I'm an actress. So, and I, do, okay. I use like voices. Okay, but when was the last time you had to have the clock, punch a clock? I can't even remember, maybe. Um, well, as a- And judging by her voice, let me say something. Are you, did you have a child with a black man? Not to sound, you know, prejudiced, but the way she's coming in, you know, how articulate she is and everything like that. I'm questioning your loyalty, sweetie. Let's go. As an actress, I punch a clock if I'm on set. No, that's no. not the same. No, it's not the same. No. So you're not even talking about a world that you live in. I live here. I live. No, you don't live in the world. Okay, ma'am, you're a doula and yeah. a creative. Okay, yeah. no problem. Yeah. But you don't have a women who heard you say all this shit gonna say, "Who the hell is this chick? She don't even have a job. She don't have budgets and a staff." And that's what I'm saying. I'm just saying. You, but I but know these the. Are, but these are but, the but I need women. you to time out. Time okay. out. Okay. Okay. You can't. You gotta understand. You're talking about something that you have. Do you understand their world? Well, these are my clients who come to me for getting pregnant. Do you pregnant. understand their world? I see their world. I'm do in you their understand, world. Do you, no, no. You service them. Do you understand their world? I've left you don't. Them. No, I've you don't understand them. their world. So I you don't, don't understand to. their world. It, it doesn't matter yeah. whether you want to. And this is one of the problems that women have, with people, even when they look at my content, they think we don't get it. So you can't just talk at people and tell them what they need to do if you don't understand their world. Mm -hmm. You don't have a job, a, a structured job where you got to get to. So where do you come telling them that they need to work out? And I told you that these women work out. A lot of these women work out too. But what's wrong with working for yourself though? As long as she's self-maintaining, in my opinion. And there's nothing wrong with giving information, but being being self-preserved is nothing wrong with that. 
So if you're making your paper that way, then that's that's cool. But I'm gonna try to see what he's angling at with this. That's what I want to know. Let's keep playing. Go to work. They're not. I was just out. I was just talking to two very accomplished women who were in great shape. Because they can also learn something from the spiritual woman, the artist woman, to be a feminine woman. And so okay. even though they're not looking at me as a certain way, these are the same women who are knocking at my door, asking me to teach them how to be, you know, softer and more gentle and move, have movement in their bodies. Because even though I'm working out, I might just do weights, but I'm also doing yoga or I'm doing a, you know, a spiritual meditation. Are you married? Are you, are you single or are you married? I'm single. Any children? Uh, yes, one daughter. How old is your daughter? She's 16. She travels and she does a lot of things. And she's my mom's travel companion and she speaks different, like three different languages. And All I'm right. Different. And, and who's, a, who's funding? Who's funding that? You? Well, I, my mom and I, we have our own business as holistic practitioners and we support people in rejuvenation of the body and cells. Okay. So, no, I mean, I'm just going to say most people will listen to what you're saying. They would call it a very liberal kind of way of living, very hands up. Most people can't live like that, man. Okay. I grew up in so homes. tell I me. Was I need, so, okay, I yeah. get it. I get it. If people can't live like that, then that has nothing to do with liberal, because there's a lot of black folks that are coming into knowledge itself who are who don't fall for the okie doke, who are actually starting to move that way, because we're realizing uh, it's about self uh preservation self-determination that's the word i always want to use self-determination and you have to move out of that programming that you've been into so she, her mother must have taught her something and i you know what i kind of prejudged on the articulation part so that's that's my bad i'm gonna keep on letting it play and see what we can come up with but but at the end of the day you're not in a relationship sure so these women won't relate. No, see, see, what I'm trying to get you to understand is you can still be right and be wrong. You're not, in, you're not in a relationship. Mm -hmm. You don't have a job. No. Do you want to be a wife? Absolutely. Yes, I do. And I cook and I cook. Why? Why? Why do you want to be a wife? Because I want to raise a family. I love, I love teaching my daughter other languages. I love homeschooling her. I love teaching her about the world and the planet and how her role in it and be able to create a legacy so she can, so I can have children that can take on this world and be able to passionately, I'm just plugging in my phone and just be able to passionately take a stance and, and, you know, do their part. I don't want to be the kind of like, I'm just Okay. Not uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. I'll let you go on for almost 30 seconds. <laughs> you didn't say a goddamn thing about a man. I would support my husband by being able to make sure that- No, 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 stop, stop. You just ran off at the mouth talking about you want to have a daughter and teaching her about the, the sun, the moon, the stars, the, the broccoli and the kale. And you didn't say one flipping thing about what you're going to do for a man. Well, I really know what I, I figured that, okay, you want to know? I'll tell you. So what I want to do for my man is without a, without a man there's no marriage i understand that i want you guys to understand how many times i want you guys to understand how many times i've talked to women about being wives and i ask them why they want to be wives and the first thing they start talking about is what they want out of it they skip right past the men men don't exist men do exist like, okay like where's your child's father why didn't you guys marry um well my daughter's father and i didn't marry because he was physically abusive then why did you give him a baby? Um, we well, what happened was honestly, I met him. We weren't together very long. I got pregnant, okay. and and I realized that he had a whole family that I didn't know about, and I left him because I well, watched. Well, let's not let's not get too deep into. Let me no, I just you, so I just me, left. And, 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 I and left. I, That's it. And I raised okay, my. In all fairness, in all fa in all fairness, why should women listen to what you have to say? Um, I think that's what women are going to ask. That's what yeah. they're going to ask. Because you said these are the same women. Who it's about growth. At the end of the day, her daughter is 16, bro. Her daughter is 16. She's grown by then. She's 40 year old woman. That's what life is about is growing. 
So she has her own business. She believes in self-determination. She homeschooled her daughter. Her daughter speaks multiple languages. Her daughter's traveling. That's for her daughter to experience that at a young age. It gives a whole different perspective. She might not even have that same uh, presentation in her life at a young age like she has given her, her daughter. But this woman right here is solid. This is the type of woman from what I see so far. So far up to this point, this is the type of woman that I'm very attracted to and into because the mindset is, is solid. It's, it's, I'll, 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 I'll show something in the photo, in the, um, in this video that I'm talking about, but her mindset is solid. She's sharp. This is the type of woman, a lot of black men need very healthy woman. We'll come and ask you questions. So tell ladies why they should listen to what you have to say. Well, that was many years ago, and my daughter is 16 now, and where I, okay. I, I've i taken my time to study a lot of different courses from mastery over sex to sex therapy. Why should women listen to you about relationships? I'm saying, this is what I'm saying, and the reason why is because, no, I am not married, but what I do know is this. I do know that there is a set of rules that reside inside of a family to be that backbone of a man a and where to have his back. And so this way he can go to work. When was the last time you were in a relationship? Um, I, like I said, I moonlight as a dominatrix. So I do have- When, when was the last time you were in a relationship? These are relationships. I don't know if you- Who was the last time you, no, 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 no. When was the last time you were in a relationship that- Outside of the dominatrix part, she's solid. That's the only thing that would hurt her is the dominatrix part. But outside that, solid woman if she can learn to be consistent with a, a, a relationship that's monogamous this is the type of woman that black men need i mean it just is what it is i mean you call it the kettle black so it is what it is mirror to marriage mirror to marriage i haven't been no ma'am you don't know what the fuck you're talking about well that doesn't mean i'm not successful at supporting that means that doesn't mean you don't have an opinion no, that doesn't mean well, I don't have success. Ma'am, listen, 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 listen. May I ask you a question, Kevin? No, you can listen. I've let you speak rather freely. Okay? You come on and tell them what women, what they should do. Okay. And I'm just ask. I need you to shut the French toast up for a second. Okay. You're not dominating shit here. I'm not trying to. I'm trying to get you to understand, ma'am, is... When women, we're talking about some, a, a, a subject I think is very serious. Me too. And I'm just trying to, okay, but you don't have, you, you're not in a relationship, you don't have a job, you've never been married, you're telling women what they need to do, and then they're going to say, why should we listen to you? And you haven't said why they should listen to you, and you say you want to get married, and I'm like, you one of these earthy kind of chicks. What's wrong with being earthy? Nothing could, except the outcomes. You, your mama, and the kid. No man. No nothing. No, there are men. You didn't. You didn't let me. You, you got. You got men that you beat. My mom is no. I you did got not men say, that you beat. I You're did not say. I mean, for facetious. You're I a didn't dominatrix. say I beat anybody. That didn't. Say okay, ma'am. Uh, uh, you look I here. I didn't beat anybody. Let me dominatrix on you. But bottom line is, ma'am. What kind feet. of marriage do you? What kind of? What kind of? Don't, don't play with me. Don't play with me. I can do this without you. What kind of marriage would you like? How would a marriage look in your world? How about that? A marriage in my world would be more so that I prefer the man to be dominant and take the lead. I honestly do want that. Does he, go to, does he go to work every day? If that's what supports... You notice when he was like, what would a marriage in your world look like? She was like, well, a marriage in my world? He was like, yes, about me now. <laughs> This is hilarious, but she's solid. Let me keep playing. That's the, the family role, yeah, for sure. Are you going to support the family or is he going to support the family? No, both. I create products and I have a product line okay. that I work with. I'm and you're how, are you how old again? I am 40 years old. And you said you want more children? I want one more child, yes. Do you live with, do your mother live with you? Um, yeah, my, my mom actually. So you expect a you expect a man to come marry a forty year old woman who got a and have her mama live there with a sixteen year old. I didn't. I didn't say all that. I support. Where, where where's your mama going to live? 
My mom lives in her own house. I, this is my I house. said, does your mama live with you? That's what I oh, asked. Oh, no, she does not live in my home. No. All right, that's because I thought you said, okay. No, we have so, our own separate houses. Okay, let's back up. 40 years old, you yeah. want to be married. Yes. All right. Uh, not really a traditional kind of marriage setup, though. A traditional kind of marriage? Yeah, um, with a gender role. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all I right. I don't, I don't think that a woman being dominant means that she has to be domineering. I think that she has to guide the ship. In other words, be a person who's ready to guide, um, take on what the husband says as the lead and be able to delegate So you that. think you can be a dominatrix and a wife at the same time? Well, I think maybe dominatrix has a terminology for you that you're putting- I, I just asked, uh, ma'am, I'm just asked. I, I don't, different I asked roles. You, I, I asked you, could you be a wife and a dominatrix? I'm okay. So, aside from being a dominatrix, yeah, I just would answer that question. Be, be, not, the, I just the, use what the French toast words you use. The word can you is be a wife dominant. The, the word can you be a dominant. wife and a dominatrix? I think what is what's coming. May I be complete honest? I want to answer. Your just question. say no. <laughs> the word dominatrix has many different looks. <clears throat> the word I don't care, ma'am. You use the word. You didn't, you didn't provide a thesaurus. Right. I'm just asking, can you be the word you used in a wife? If that's what my husband prefers, there's a lot of men. The answer who is there the are answer men, is yes or no. Yes, there are men who request to have that kind of experience with me. And yes, they are. No, 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 no. Not your husband. I mean, can you still be a dominatrix and a wife? Dominatrix doesn't mean I have to do that with many people. It's just with okay. one person. So, in other words, this is why I would I, like I, to be I, a dominatrix okay. with my husband, but I do well, not. That's I nice. have that's fun nice. games in the bedroom mm -hmm. privately. Right. But do I want to do that? Ma'am, no. Okay, ma'am, 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 ma'am. Most men who go looking for wives aren't looking for these new age relationships. They're just not. The world you live in sounds like a complete joke to most people. I'm not. I'm not casting any judgment. I'm really not. But the it way you're talking, ma'am. No, ma'am. I, I need you to. I, 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 need, I let you speak. Now let me speak. I'm on a show talking about a topic, and you don't have a job talking about what women need to do about their job. They do have a job. All right. I need. I need. Uh, you say one more thing to cut me off, and I'm going to bid you a good night. Can you control yourself? Thank you. All I'm saying, ma'am, is your world is very small and niche. And I'm trying to understand how what you're saying is going to be helpful to anybody outside of your world. Tell the women what you have that, that you can give them that's going to help them in their existence, not yours. It depends on where the woman is coming from. I don't know where all your, I don't know where your demographic of your, the people. Well, most people have jobs and are not dominatrices. Most women have, don't have 16 year olds to travel. Most of them have them in school. That's what I thought. This was, tell you, dude, you can't make this shit up. 40 years old and I want more, I want more space babies. <laughs> oh my God. Here's a dominatrix right there. Here you go. Here you go. Dominate that. Oh, I, I dominate that. Come on, Kevin. <laughs> I, uh, look, y'all. Let's just be honest, okay? This woman, in my opinion, she's solid. You know, there's nothing you can say or do to take anything away from her. She self-taught her daughter, homeschooled her in other words. She's about self-determination. Um, take away the dominatrix stuff. Let's just keep it a 100. This woman is a really solid, good woman. This is the type of woman that black men are looking for. I'm going to be honest with you too. Women who haven't gone through a whole phase. It's kind of dull, man. It's 
because you get bored man that bedroom gets bored you know what i'm saying this woman likes to explore she wants to travel the world. she don't have to kick it with all these people out here she don't have to party i know these type of women because i'm similar that's my mentality i know how to hunt women like this this is the type of women that i like personally who are who want to self-explore who want to get into different types of learning styles who want to travel the world do things a certain way i'm not an earthy person but i believe in uh holistic healing and things like that a lot of people don't you know none against kevin but this is just not his world man this is not for him okay he would i'll put it this way she's quinoa kevin is a uh, cream of wheat um she's alkaline kevin is acidic i mean no offense it just is what it is you know there's a certain i put it this way she's dr sabi kevin is dr oz <laughs> you know what i mean so it, that's that's the type of mentality that that i'm talking about though it's a certain lifestyle that you gotta live in order to be the way she is she's a doula you know that's her own business that's okay that's okay there's nothing wrong with that but a lot of people don't accept that when you tell them I'll put it this way. I believe in natural healing myself. So when I tell people, hey, you know, get these herbs, blah, 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 all that, they really like, well, my doctor says, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, all right, you know what? Go ahead, do you. Do you. But people like me who are about self preservation and doing things the right way, things like that, of that nature, we just have a different mindset because you don't want to be locked away. And I have to share something with y'all too um a photo in particular on my facebook and i'm gonna explain that mindset right now so i stepped out did a few things but um this picture right here it represents it coincides with what i want to talk about with this kevin samuel video it asks why did the prisoner choose the bread and not the key if you know the answer then you are a philosopher now i'm not a philosopher i don't claim to be a philosopher but it asks a question why did he choose the bread and not the key a lot of times many of us are programmed to think certain ways that people want us to think this bread is a representation of knowledge but it's only a certain type of knowledge there's knowledge that's on the human level then there's spiritual god level active consciousness knowledge bread is a representation of just regular common everyday man knowledge the key is a representation of knowledge that is a higher level of consciousness had he taken that key he could have walked right out and grabbed the bread instead a lot of people here in this country and around the world actually are lost you know what i mean if you're only thinking certain ways you're going to get certain results instead of going and grabbing the key the man basically just took the bread in order to live day by day in his own prison but many of us who go on who end up researching and getting higher levels of consciousness which is grabbing the key guess what we can do we can step outside of that prison and grab the food cultivate food make our own food right and we can help others to to be able to do that for themselves as well that's what that's about that key is the key to unlock all the information in order to get you what you really need or to create a better reality for yourself right we're going to look at something else right now now many of you may not read the bible say oh i'm atheist i don't believe in the bible blah 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 that's not why i'm pulling this up this is a lesson inside of a teaching that's why i'm pulling this up so i'm gonna read for you matthew chapter 13 1 through 13. it says the same day jesus went out of the house and sat by the seaside and great multitudes were gathered together unto him so that when he went into a ship and sat and the whole multitude stood on the shore and he spake many things unto them in parables saying behold a sower went forth to sow and when he sowed some seeds fell by the wayside and the fowls came and devoured them up 
Some fell upon stony places when they had not much earth, and forthwith they sprung up because they had no deepness of earth. And when the sun was up, they were scorched, and because they had no root, they withered away. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprang up and choked them. But others fell into good ground and brought forth fruit, some a hundredfold, some sixtyfold, and some thirtyfold. Who hath ears to hear, let him hear. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the not of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. For whosoever hath to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance, but whoever whosoever hath not, from him shall be taken away even that he hath. So, y'all, same thing with that photo. It's about that knowledge, man. Look, and, and the best thing you can do as a human being is to just drop the seed to somebody. Now, whatever they do with that seed, it's up to them. The information that I give you or anybody else gives you throughout your YouTube journey, Google journey, Wikipedia journeys, all that. Everything you do to research, whatever knowledge that somebody's dropped to you cultivate it use it for what you need it for that's my purpose on this earth to do right by not only human beings but also the creator in my opinion i believe in the creator that's just my belief system it is what it is so based on what i watched with uh kevin samuels and the lady you know what i'm saying um kevin he only has a certain level of knowledge of understanding and when I saw how he's speaking to the lady, I mean, it is what it is. He's going to do what he, what he wants to do. Outside of her being a dominatrix, I know that the lady is a shapeshifter. Like, even though she's a, a dominatrix, she can actually be in a monogamous relationship, which she, which she was trying to tell Kevin. You know, but Kevin wasn't having it. Kevin has his own mindset. I mean, it is what it is. But this lady is honest about who she is she knows who she is which is fine dominatrix is how she makes her money i mean i can handle a woman like that. that's perfectly fine i'm not saying handle as far as controlling her life i get it but i can handle a woman who has had a past life of doing dominatrix which she would stop doing and she told she was trying to get to that to tell kevin because kevin was like uh, could you you know basically do whatever you're doing and still have a man and she was like you know no she would you know make sure she could accommodate that man a certain way she knows that you can't be in a relationship with a man especially a loving so-called loving relationship monogamous relationship relationship and do that type of stuff mess around with other men and have sex with them you just can't do that unless you're a pimp if you're a pimp maybe you can handle that but anyway y'all solutions 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 what we always talk about in this situation anyway watch talk and act but don't just act people create solutions peace subscribe